Thank you. Defeated a Thunderjaw? That's what you sent me to do. We sent you for answers. Have the machines stopped coming through the settlement? Well, then I guess I found your answers too. Possibly. Radell? These components were made by the old ones. These... these were made by an Osirum tinker. Osirum? And yet Uruk went to Mother's Tears and Nora territory. Mother's Tears is a settlement in Valley Mead. The Nora abandoned it during the Red Raids. The Nora can't be behind this, can they? The Nora are far too superstitious about the old ones to touch a device like this. And what is that device? It's a high-frequency wireless communication system. A beacon, but for machines. So, that's why Avad Spymaster came all the way out here. You knew you'd find this. I didn't know. I feared. And decisions shouldn't be based on fear. Facts should lead us. So try sharing some facts. The few small lures I've seen have the power to attract only a handful of machines from close by. But this, if there are more of them, then this is a threat to the whole sun. And you think it's a good idea to say all that in front of a shadow Karja? When I found that lure, it was connected to the old one's rooms to a big metal bowl. Could that have made this lure more powerful? But why did Urid ignore the lure and follow whoever it is back to Nora territory? What's so important about these people? You served in Mother's Tears, didn't you, Reyes? I served where I was sent. Yes, I served there. Then you know the land. The wounds of the Red Raids are still fresh for the Nora. Valley Meat would be an extremely dangerous place for a Shadow Kaja to go. Though, if Urid felt these people were important enough to pursue, we must too. Go on for your brother, for the vow you made to the Sundom, or for yourself. But, if you choose to go, do it as a free man. His luminance of Ard won't send Kaja soldiers into Nora territory, but I cannot stop someone going there to find their brother. Walk in the light, Reyes, but try not to be seen. But I will go to Mother's Tears and find Orid, as a free man. First, I'll need to make a rope dart. That's the only way I'm gonna cross the bridge into that settlement. The sun sets on the unprepared. Step closer. You got it. That's it. I should grip the rock. That's right. Needs tightening. to wind the handle binding. Keep winding. That should help me cross into Mother's Tears, into Nora territory. I'll have to be careful. Nora territory. And Mother's Tears. I haven't been here since the war. I need to find Ora and the Osram he was tracking. Whatever they've got planned for those machine wars can't be good. The Matriarch's Lodge is the settlement's biggest and most offensible building. The Osram might have set up there. I should take a look.
his word. I'm afraid. So why do I still feel like the character burning? bodyguard. And he never questioned his orders. Until he did. It must take a lot to make Ora betray you. Betray his honor. Right now.
are always useful. Yellow to blue. That watch has forgotten about you. Still got it.
That's one way to get rid of a watcher. That's my way out. Settlement has no one here. And any Osser. And yet, nothing. Better get to the Matriarch's Lodge and try to find them before they find me. That should help.
That's it. Right there. Passageway here. It should lead to the matriarch's lodge. And any awesome that might be camped there. Another arm of Jerome. Where points I follow. If I can get that winch to work. The brake lock's on. up there. Shock arrows would be handy.
and Nora tried to hide their wounded and children down here. The Karja put them in chains and packed them off to the capital. And I walked right on by, followed my orders, hunted machines for parts and ammo. Should have done more. Guess the sun hasn't given up on me yet. Bracelet. Kestrels couldn't even be bothered to steal it. One step closer. Looks right. settlement. Might be able to spot the enemy from there. Tears. Machines, not people, until Helos changed that. Put that one down. 